Hi guys, you might have seen this before. It's my solar tracker, very simple design, um, inspired by, oh gosh, I've forgotten his name. I do apologize. There'll be a link in the video description to the guy who uh, inspired this one. Anyway, I built it, designed it myself, uh, made it 3D printed. Built it and it works fine, except that I've broken it, as you can probably see. These are very thin solar panels and you only got to touch them to shatter them. So I broke it. Um, it does still work. If I put it there, it will drive itself around because that one is receiving sunlight. So it's powering the motor to drive that way because it actually drives away from the sunlight, if that makes any sense. But when you've got two of them, they both try and drive away from the sunlight, and the outcome is they end up pointing straight at the sun because they balance each other. You can't hear it, but if I lift that up, that little motor is spinning. That motor is the tail motor off of a, a little radio controlled helicopter or infrared controlled helicopter I say at the moment it's driving one way every time <laughs> um, so I decided to do version 2 because I've never been happy this one rocks around far too much and I'd always intended to do a version 2 I also was gonna make it so that the motor was actually mounted directly on the back there at an angle uh, the little bit of black plastic it's in at the moment is the remains of the tail of the helicopter. So, down here is version 2. That's the arm that will spin round. You see it's got a V-shape on it that these two panels will glue on to. Same way as that, although I've actually made the panel a sharper angle this time. I don't know if that will help or hinder it. We will find out. That's actually a 90 degree angle and I think that one's probably a 45 degree angle. I've also made a little tube there so that that motor can mount directly in there. And then that tube is just to hold the wires out the way because they're a bit of a mess on there at the moment. And then instead of using a metal rod up the middle, I've 3D printed a plastic axle shaft. And that will sit on and it shouldn't rock around so much. So I'll glue that together, assemble it, and we'll see if it works. Although we probably won't see it work now it's a bit late in the afternoon. By the time I finished, it will probably be dark. Either way, there's no sun out there. We can probably shine a light on it instead. Finished. All the bits transferred over from the broken one. I've used white wires this time. Let's bring it a bit closer and refocus. Just so we don't get confused over the black and the red or the positive and the negative, because as we're looking at it here, the back of the left-hand panel goes to the front of the right-hand panel and goes to the red of the motor, and then the back of the right-hand panel goes to the front of the left-hand panel and then that goes to the, I've forgotten what I was saying now, the black of the motor. So the panels are in series, positive to negative, positive to negative, but they're also a closed loop. And then teed into the middle of it, we've got the motor. So when the right hand panel is receiving power, it drives the motor so that it turns away from the light. When the left hand panel is receiving power from the sun, it drives the motor 
the opposite way. We have of course got no sunlight now. So what we'll do is we'll go and hold it in front of a little uh, light I've got in the kitchen. One of those bright ones. So, as we go towards it, That one is driving away from it. That one's driving away from it. So when both panels are receiving light, it's pointing towards the sun, or in this case, the um, halogen lamp. So we'll leave that in the window and what usually happens is it annoys you because it keeps making a noise on a sunny day. It doesn't if the sun remains constant but if you've got the sun shining through the branches of the trees or something like that so there's intermittent shadows going over it then it does move around. Anyway that's it. Finished. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.